Hello, my name is Ben, and I'm going to show you how to remove the flywheel and replace the spools on your Concept2 ski erg. The two tools that you'll need are the T27 six lobe assembly screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. The first step is going to be removing the right side maintenance panel. There are eight fasteners that secure the maintenance panel. Some of them may be tight, so creating a T-handle with the two screwdrivers can be helpful to remove those tight fasteners. Put the screwdriver through the six lobe assembly screwdriver and then use that to remove the fasteners. Next you need to remove the flywheel cover and the metal outlet perf. There are four three inch long fasteners that secure the flywheel cover and then there's one fastener that secures the two ends of the metal outlet perf. Remove the four three inch long fasteners. And then loosen the metal outlet perf screw. Hold the flywheel cover and the metal outlet perf with your two hands and pull it away from the machine. So this is the handle cord and then this is the shock cord. Shock cord can be green or it can be white. Remove the shock cord from the spool. You can pull down on the shock cord to give you a little bit of slack and then remove this knot from the non-flywheel side of the spool. and carefully bring the shock cord to the top pulley. Repeat on the other spool. And let the handle cords unwind. And you'll see the handles dropping to the ground. Next, you need to remove the handle cord from the spool. If you're replacing the flywheel, or removing the flywheel but not replacing the spools, skip this step as it will save you time on future steps. There's an overhand knot on the spool. Remove the knot from the notch on the left side of the spool and then remove the handle cord. Repeat on the other spool. Next, remove the bearing cover and use the six lobe driver to remove the fastener on the back of the axle. Hold the flywheel with one hand and remove the fastener. With the rear fastener removed, you can pull the flywheel out from the front of the machine. You don't need to, but you can hold on to the spools as you pull the flywheel out so that you, you catch some of the hardware. After you pull the flywheel out, the long spacer and bearing and cup may still be on the axle. Pull those off of the axle so that we can take inventory of all the parts that we have. Some machines have different hardware than what's shown here. We will address those differences as we put the hardware back on the axle. We have the bearing, the bearing cup, the long spacer, spool, a short spacer, the spring washer, which is not in every machine, a short spacer, the spool, long spacer, bearing cup, bearing, axle shim, which also is not in every machine, the axle washer, and the fastener. Start with the bearing and the bearing cup and then put that in the bearing mount in the front of the frame. Slide the flywheel axle through the bearing and put on a long spacer. Note that some spacers may have a flange. If your spacer has a flange, put the flange away from the spool. Put the spool on with the bumps towards the flywheel. Some spools are gonna have painted dots 
put the bumps or the dots towards the flywheel. Put a short spacer, then the spring washer, which again, not all machines are gonna have a spring washer. A short spacer, then the spool with the dots or the bumps towards the flywheel. And then push the axle through the back of the frame. We'll put the remaining hardware on through the back of the frame. Slide the last long spacer through the back of the frame. Put the bearing in the bearing cup and then put the bearing cup and bearing into the bearing mount. Use the fastener, the axle washer, and the axle shim, which is not on every machine, and put it on the back of the axle. Use your six lobe screwdriver to secure the fastener. And replace the bearing cover. Next, we're going to attach the handle cords to the spool. Pull the handle cord around the front of the spool and wrap it around the back with the tail on the flywheel side of the handle cord. Tie an overhand knot around the spool and tuck the knotted end of the handle cord into the notch on the flywheel side of the spool. Turn the spool to wind the handle cord. Grab the shock cord and give yourself some slack. Drop the shock cord behind the spool and we're gonna wrap the shock cord around the spool one and a half to two and a half wraps around the spool and then tuck the knotted end of the shock cord in the right side of the spool. One thing to note is the uh, tails on the knotted ends of the shock cord and the handle cord. You wanna tuck these underneath the spool so they don't touch each other when the spools are spinning. You're going to repeat the same steps on the other spool. Once the cords are installed on the spools, test each handle individually to confirm that everything is working the way that it should. And then try both handles together. And now you can put the right side maintenance panel and the flywheel cover back on. After installing the spools, go ahead and attach the flywheel cover and the metal outlet perf. There are multiple ways to do this. The way I prefer to do it is install the flywheel cover first, and then we'll lace the metal outlet perf in place. So, Loosely put the four fasteners in place. Just a couple of turns is fine. The metal outlet perf connector has one screw that connects the two ends together. Push them together so you can get the head of the screw out. Then lace the side that does not have the screw underneath the screw in the uh, five o'clock position. around the flywheel
Once it's underneath the four fasteners, go ahead and attach the head of the screw into the plastic housing on the metal outlet perf and then slide it while it's still loose underneath the fastener in the five o'clock position. Tighten the four fasteners on the flywheel cover. And the last step of assembling the flywheel cover is tightening the fastener on the metal outlet perf. And the final step is to replace the right side maintenance panel and the eight fasteners, and then you're done.